world of t-shirts may have in fact hit rock bottom today and i do not say this lightly uh world of t-shirts today was doing a stream with mr based uh he was supposed to do one of his tours today but that or uh did not happen after josh had some incidents that led to him being taken away from mr based apart mr based's apartment with the nypd and the reason he was taken away from mr based's apartment was because based was having a live stream with josh where josh was clearly intoxicated uh severely and Josh ended up having some issues. Um, at one point, I actually did watch a little bit of this stream. At one point, I thought that it was uh, possible that he was not uh, breathing, uh, which was not good. Uh, I was hoping that that wasn't the case, but it, it felt like that that was possibly the case. Uh, thankfully, Josh woke up. Um, NYPD came and took him after some people made some phone calls. Um, in regards to the issues, they made the phone calls not to SWAT based, but simply to get Josh to a hospital or some other way to get help. NYPD took Josh away and a TikTok commenter stated that Josh is currently in one of the hospitals in New York City. Now, based is a man who has been accused of um, murder via drug overdose in the past. I am not going to speculate on whether or not that's true. I just know that he's been accused of it. Um, and people were accusing him of having drugged Josh. I don't know if he did or didn't. I don't think he did. Josh did have multiple alcoholic beverages today on on camera on TikTok. Uh, excuse me, as well as on the stream. And he spent, according to Josh, 24 hours awake. And those 24 hours awake combined with the alcohol very likely led to some things happening where he had an issue where he potentially could have gone into some sort of alcohol and sleep deprivation induced psychosis. He had a meltdown on the stairs of the apartment of the apartment building of Mr. Based, which was also dealt with by NYPD, who was called, I believe, by Based to bring him into the apartment so that he could find somewhere safe and then based had his stream on, which um was something that i wasn't understanding why but it it happened uh he had the stream on and that stream he continued to try to get gifts based on josh it's problematic that this happened simply due to the fact that Josh is an autistic man who is addicted to alcohol. And people who are autistic have a much harder time with addiction. It's just a thing that happens. And it appears that Based is working on trying to financially gain things from having Josh on his streams. If you remember a couple weeks ago, Josh actually said the N-word um, and threatened to kill some people on a stream with Based, which is, of course, a problem. You're not supposed to do that. Um, it's, it's wrong. Now, I have been thinking about what is the ultimate um, final thing that's going to happen with Josh, because usually... Somebody who is an alcoholic will have something that either leads to their death or leads to them changing their behavior after they realize that their behavior is the cause of their problems leading into the alcohol. I don't know uh, if this is going to be that thing. I can only say that I hope it is. Uh, Josh, realizing what happened, he went to the hospital, according to that TikTok commenter, where he will very likely undergo a medical detox. And with that medical detox, it is very likely that he will be there for a couple of days, um, if not longer, depending on what the hospital chooses to do. There's a chance he'll be uh, in there on an involuntary psychiatric hold, which might be good for him because he is a danger to himself uh, with his current um use of alcohol alcohol as well as just running around new york city in a non-safe manner constantly moving around new york city and, and just you can tell that it's not safe for him he's always moving around new york city people are dangerous to him people are always coming up to him in the street making comments things of that nature it's not good it's not healthy it's something that needs to be uh worked on but i don't know if it'll ever be fixed but if Josh stops drinking alcohol, it's very likely that he'll be able to 
move on from the situations that he gets into. Sure, he gives an illegal tour. I don't actually have a problem with that because I don't understand why you need to have a license to be a tour guide. But like, okay, it's it's a business regulation. I don't care about that. But what I do care about is the fact that at that illegal tour, it's 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 alcohol focused. It's not focused on moving around New York City. It's focused on drinking alcohol. And the people who come to that tour encourage the behavior of drinking alcohol. And by encouraging the behavior of drinking alcohol, they are adding to his addiction. And by adding to his addiction, it leads to problems such as what we saw tonight. Gosh, not going to his tour is truly something that is going to affect his income. As we know, most of his income comes from social media via either TikTok or Cameo or from people buying his tour, which he promotes via TikTok. And by promoting it via TikTok, what we know is that he has to keep up appearances of being a drunk. He's like, oh, people want to come to my tour. They want to see me because I'm drunk. And obviously, he also has an addiction, but the money is not helping. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve to have money to make a living. He does. He, needs to, he deserves to have the money to make a decent life for himself. He does not need to have money for alcohol. If somebody managed his money, it might help him, but people around him, based in Quinn, who potentially could manage his money, even his grandpa, who's like 90, wouldn't do well with managing his money. His grandpa is too old to manage the money properly, and based in Quinn would probably work on using the money for themselves, which would be a break. In fact, I think Quinn and based use the money for themselves already. Now, I am not going to go through and look at the clips of, of today because they were absolutely astonishing with how bad they were. He had a severe meltdown, um, and then he went and actually had very shallow breaths, and he was sleeping in a manner where it did not look like he was in the proper position to potentially uh, not aspirate on his vomit if he were to vomit going into... Um, trying to recover from alcohol poisoning. Your body does have things that it can help when you're poisoned. And alcohol poisoning, of course, is a type of poisoning, and one of the things your body can do to try and fix that is vomiting. But if you're sleeping, you can end up aspirating, which is choking on your vomit, and you don't want to do that. Um, if he had done that in the apartment building, he very likely would have ended up with his death. And we don't want to see that. We want Josh to have a healthy life. You've seen, we've seen Josh. I don't know how he went from what he was when he finished high school um, and started going around New York City, which going around New York City, traveling around New York City is actually an objectively cool thing. To be able to do that a couple of, every day. That is an objectively cool thing if that's something you're interested in for him. It is objectively a bad thing for him to be drinking as much as he does, simply because of how bad drinking is for him. He is um, fired from his DJing gig at Bar 13, which we knew about, but I don't know if he, he understands that he's fired, because he's made multiple videos over the last couple of weeks talking about how Bar 13 is closed, even though like, he very clearly was fired. The issues he has. Now, autism does not cause you to be racist or threaten to kill people. It can lead to you being more angry. That's definitely a thing. But most autistic people understand rules about not saying racial slurs and not um, threatening to kill people. But uh, at this point, I don't know what's going on with this. So it is something to think about with that. Um with the way Josh has been acting, so I'm hoping he can get help. I'm hoping being in the hospital allows him to get some help, but I don't know what's going to happen. It appears that he's hit rock bottom, and usually when an addict hits rock bottom, one of two things happen. They start getting help, or they find a worse bottom, uh, and when that happens, it's not good, and you don't want to see what happens when that happens, so hopefully he can find help. I'm I don't believe there's anybody currently in his life who will help. Michael Quinn did suggest that Josh was drunk, but I don't think that actually happened. Or if it did, there's no, like, physical evidence of it on the stream, because why would somebody, you know, film themselves committing a crime? But anyway, I hope Josh gets help.